Hello everybody, welcome back to the part 5 of our Dragon Age 2 Legacy walkthrough. I'm so glad you got to join me. Hopefully you have enjoyed these up to now. If you haven't seen any of these, then uh, what are you waiting on? Click the annotation in the upper left hand corner of your screen, you'll be able to find them there. So, last time we left off, we had finally got to the Carta hideout. We had been got to play with some traps a little bit and got to... Uh, see how the developers sent that and put it into the game so that we'd be able to uh, basically enjoy it by uh, using it on the enemies worked out excellently so now we're going to go into this car to hide out and see what happens on the other side let me fail closing myself up here real good now we can enter in Tactics screen is a best is your best friend in this game. It honestly, is if you don't use the tactics in this game, you're probably gonna really mess up really quickly. You're not gonna be able to play. You're not gonna be able to play to your best ability. I'll put it that way. I know there's probably a lot of people out there who goes, oh, I didn't touch it when I played it, but trust me, you really need to because it makes the world of a difference. That guy snoring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he didn't resist anything. I is this man still alive? Sweet. What's this trap? Oh, crap, guys. Oh, that would have been bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, there's so many traps in here. I got a feeling I'm going to have to remember all of these. Do your stories ever have griffins in them? Uh, kind of tricky because they're extinct. I love these. You can work a griffin attack into a tail, but uh, it takes skill. I was thinking more like... Heroic griffins, the sort that swoop in and save the day. Daisy, haven't you heard? Swooping is bad. Oh. I could do heroic charging, though. You want me to call him uh, Feathers? Yes, and make him extra fluffy. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. In a weird sense. Am I in your stories, Varric? Daisy, everyone is fair game for my stories. I never hear any stories with me in them. What sorts of things do I do? Well, you get lost a lot. You wind up in the middle of a dog racing track in Darktown, or in the Viscount's bathing room. So they're true stories. Daisy, I could never make that stuff up. Nobody would believe it. <laughs> That's rich. That's awesome. So she actually did that? Why is there so many stinking blood magic things? I so gotta get my mage to blood magic abilities because apparently everything works with them. Do I have to go in there? I don't want to. We have tracked Bethany Hawk to the gallows where the mages are housed. Bring her intact and unharmed. The blood of Malcolm Hawk must remain pure. If someone gets in your way, kill them, but do it quietly. The Great One will reward you richly for your services. In the name of Master Corypheus, may he see sunlight again? Must be the name of the dark. I've spot. never heard of dwarves using blood magic, but they're obviously after you for something. I'm guessing Corypheus is some kind of demon? I guess we only get that answer from Corypheus. Quit lowering your head. I'm trying to see your face. Show you off your pretty looks. Another quick save. I believe in quick saving. It's a good thing to do. And you're not ever going to get to again, good friends. Sorry, gentlemen. But it's time for you to die very quickly. Need to rest. Dude, who is this back here? Whoa, you're a beast if you're going back here by yourself. But I'll let you through with it. Now, drain these arrows. I want her to tempest it up. Right here. Do you seriously have to go up there? Beric, dude, you're so gonna die. Anders, heal him. I'll bring that thug up there if I have to. Cut. Up. 
Don't you dare die. Don't you dare die, Andrew. Or Barry, whatever your name is. <laughs> hey, everybody, quit being so rude. You're just being polite. See that guy? Go up there and sack his face. And eat that guy's last a little bit. Tastes like Kit Kat. Mmm, Reese Cups. Chocolatey, peanut buttery, what's the best part of it? Alright, so praise Coryphus. Let's get the chest first. It's so much better if I get the chest. Boots of the Fortress. 36 health, 52 defense. I should probably put those suckers on. But at the same time, I don't want to. Mine's better. Wow, that's pretty bad when the little junky items like a hand axe is the best thing ever. Praise Coryphus. Like many of you, I was once a thieving wretch. I was a servant to coin my own base desires, and that when I hear his call. Coryphus, open my eyes, just as he has opened yours, and show me what was true. What is the card of besides Coryphus? Nothing but dust and ashes. Only Coryphus is eternal. We are his hands and his eyes on the surface. We are once, we are the ones he honored with his trust to dig him from his prison in the deep roads. When Coryphus steps into the sunlight, we will be rewarded. Praise him. Praise Coryphus. From a scrap of parchment, evidently notes from our speech. So sorry I didn't let him do his speech. I'm so sorry for him. So why does the master want this hot lady anyway? It is not a place to question. It, it sure ain't the place to question. I like know what's down here though. What's in this little rubble? What's in this poop? Nothing. That's what I thought. <sighs> I'm gonna go in these doors first. Actually, I'm gonna get this crate first. Even though it's probably nothing. You never know. The developers like to stick things in most weirdest locations. <laughs> oh, that could be took so many different ways. I'll let you play with that in the comments. You know, I might be able to give you a hand. Well, you should be able to, genius. I love doing that. I'm glad you do. Take it. No. Okay, that's fine. Open the door back up, though. Now let's go over here. Open this Easy one. Spy. Oh, sweet. So it's a good idea to bring along a rogue, I take it. And one more location. Not likely. You want me to do what? I don't think so. Come on, dude. That's probably the best one here. What if we go unlock the gate? Let's quick save. Because I want to see what happens if I open this up. Okay, that's yeah. probably a dumb idea on my part. Because Andrews just got one shotted. Whoa. Let's quick reload. <laughs> oh, that's sad. One shotted for the win. I guess I should not get the, let the Bronto out there until I've killed all the thugs. And then I could probably do that. Oh, I leveled up. Sweet. That should do it. You know, I don't know at this point, I really think I need to get more willpower. So we'll just do it little by little. I'm afraid I have to get more strength up because there's more power behind my, behind my punches. Barrage now lasts longer, less damage, 3% on damage stacking. I should so, so be using adrenaline more. Alright, that's good enough then. Let's get over here and say hello. <laughs> you pull that trap, I swear I'll kill everyone. <laughs> Golly, the power was awesome on that one. Yeah, where you get this guy? Oh. Got to make sure everybody gets on top of us and starts getting taunted. And yes, I said get on top of us. Oh, the guys. I'd run if I were you. Now, Hawk, this is a good time for you to shatter this guy. Need to rest. 
nonsense. Shatter. Let's do this. Excellent. There ain't nobody left. <coughs> Quit hurting yourself. <laughs> I can remember how much I just wanted to get the uh the uh the Reaper or whatever it's called. The Reaper, I guess it's the Reaper of talents when I was uh playing Origins. But I was always just you know, it was the ideal of of killing, of uh, you know, hurting Andraste's ashes. That always killed me the idea of that. The Great One's key, the Warden did not guard the key with carry, was left in their repository with objects of little worth, trinkets, dusty Great Warden trophies, not even a guarded post. Fools, if only they knew what they had and had lost. It would not wake it at my touch. It sleeps and its power remains within. The Great One says it requires Malcolm Hawk's blood to waken it. Only then can its powers set him free. I will find the heir to the blood, and the Great One will reward me. Yes, let it be soon. Leader of the Carta. A key. Warm orb. I'm not taking that right now. Tune to your father's blood. I'm gonna save it before I do that. Sounds like a ritual element for blood magic. Be careful, Hawk. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the same thing, being that there's like a lever up here. I really want to kill that Bronto first. Someone will kill the Bronto first. <sighs> I can't help it. That's just extra XP. This guy's so gonna one-shot everybody, though, if I don't make sure he's out. Everybody get over here. Because he's gonna one-shot everyone, I promise you. Get over here. Now stand right there and look pretty. Good job. Get away. Now. Stun him. Everybody can come attack now. We're good now. Goodbye, Seriously, is that really all you gave me was, oh yeah, nothing? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, I got some XP at least. And Merle leveled up, so that's a good way to finish this episode. So guys... How are you enjoying this so far? Does it make you, uh, you know, look forward to more episodes? And if so, please leave me in the comments why and what you're looking to the most in the next, next one. Uh, find out what the actual orb is and uh, seeing what kind of uh, secrets lies within it and further on down the line here. Or just, uh, you know, what, what kind of things are, um, what kind of things are, bringing you to mind with it what are you looking forward to the most but anyways guys until next time hope you enjoyed this please click the annotation upper left hand corner if you've not seen the previous episode click up the annotation upper right hand corner when it is available to find the next episode as well and until next time take care of yourselves give me that likes and thumbs up buttons and all that wonderful things that everybody always asks for especially me and those of us who are small little people just asking for love y'all come on back now you hear